Today we are fortunate enough to be out in the field with the brand new Sony F55. Sony has released two brand new cameras to their line, the F5 and F55. These are both 2K, 4K, RAW capable cameras. We took the F55 out in the field today for some real world testing. The F55 is poised to be a standout camera in the industry, boasting its brand new XAVC codec. The F55 has a vast exposure latitude of 14 stops and an ultra wide color gamut which is the same as Sony's flagship F65. Sony has included a revolutionary global shutter with the unique ability to shoot in 4K, 2K, or HD depending on what your production requires. The F55 has a compact lightweight body, built-in ND filters, and a new convenient and intuitive menu system. Let's take a look at some of the shots we captured around DC and we'll meet back in the shop for the review. And as promised, we are back on set. And I did mention that I would have Darren from DC Camera here. And wait a minute, there he is. And of course, he dressed a little nicer than me. I'm sporting the DC Camera gear, but he's wearing his nice button down. And that's what matters. Uh, we have sitting here the Alexa, the Epic, and the F55. We decided to bring out these other two cameras because they're kind of the big players in the game right now. The Alexa, Darren, where does it stand? Kind of at the top of the industry? Yeah, the Alexa is the top of the heap. All the big commercials, episodic television shows, Sky, feature films. Skyfall was shot on that. Skyfall, them. Life of Pi. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then we have the Red Epic sitting over here. The Hobbit was shot on that and countless other movies. So another really great benefit that Sony has added into the new F55 would be a global shutter. Now, a lot of the DSLRs were using rolling shutters, which, which was paired with their CMOS sensors. Um, this might have been out of just affordability and also the fact that with a lot of these DSLRs, you were taking stills, so it didn't matter. So Darren, can you just explain what the advantages are with the global shutter? Well, a rolling shutter, it scans really quickly, whereas a global shutter is all shutter on and off and on and off and on and off, so that when you're doing really fast pans and really fast dolly moves across patterns, straight line patterns, what you can see is like tearing, you can see where, you know, part of the cabinet is here and the other part of the cabinet is here. Let's take a look at a few nighttime shots we captured with the F55. set we just saw some beautiful b-roll and here comes Darren on his elevated platform and we're back we really set this up for a run and gun scenario where we didn't roll around with a tripod we were in DC so we didn't have the opportunity to really do a large setup 
had it in a very small, compact form, and it worked great for us in, in, in those terms. Um, also, low light capable. This is a very fast camera. Uh, it's native ISO 1250. 1250. So let's just jump right in and take a look at the menu system. You can see it's Alexa inspired by these six main buttons here. Uh, the screen's actually going to be less of an Alexa in terms of the fact that you cannot navigate through the entire menu system. You're only going to be able to do some of these hot buttons. I'm going to jump out and go back to camera mode. You can see you've got um, your high speed frame rates. You can jump into uh, adjusting your shutter, your color temperature, your gain, which can also be switched to ISO, and there's your gamma that you're shooting in. Right now we're in S-Log2. And um, I'm going to flip it around for you real quick. As you can see, we've got XLR inputs right here. This is actually has four screws, so this is removable. Uh, you've got your time code, uh, which is all right here, and you can actually program it so that all four of these feeds feed um, four 4K outputs um, in one of the modes that it can be uh, put in. So what was Sony thinking when they created the new F55 and F5? Well, without getting into all these technical details, what I think we really wanted to get across today was that the F55 is an exciting new product in terms of 2K, 4K raw capability. It's a smaller camera, it's lightweight, it's not as power hungry as an Alexa. Um, it's gonna compete with the RED. RED has some great technology coming out, they're upping their sensor, but this camera stands to be one of the main workhorse production cameras for the next probably two years, if not more. Stay tuned, there's gonna be a lot more to come. We're excited about the new F55 and the new F5 that will be coming shortly. Darren will be here for future productions and we've got a lot more to come, thanks. Thank you.